Good morning, good morning. So today, what we are doing on Fawn Ridge is I am going to give you a quick tutorial of how to pick your collard, I mean, I'm sorry, your turnip and your mustard greens. Okay, so you wanna get your leaf, you wanna fold it in half, and you wanna begin to strip it off of the leaf, making sure that there's no strings. Um, I think I've showed you this before, and it's on one of my YouTube channels, but I thought I would do it again today because I am fixing turnip and mustard greens. So I thought I would just have you to watch me for a little bit. So you want to make sure that you go to the grocery store and you buy nice, fresh, crispy greens. I have here um, five bunches of turnip greens and one bunch of mustard. And the reason why I do that is because I don't want the mustard to overpower my turnip greens. Now, if you just like mustard greens, then you buy more mustards and you add less turnips. Make sure when you strip your greens that these strings are not in your greens. I remember growing up, my mom said, do not leave those strings in that green, in those greens. So you just wanna make sure that you do them just like this. And after a while, you'll be so good at this. It won't take very long because you, you're going to automatically pick up your green, fold it in half, hold it in the middle, and strip. It's just that easy. I, I love doing this. And today on Fawn Ridge, I'm thinking about um, my elders because I remember when they used to get up early in the morning and they'd make their dinner. So I got up and I went to the store and I bought turnips and mustard greens and I bought a pot roast and I'm going to get that food on. I'm going to smell it while I sit back and wait for it to get done to make your turnip greens even more tastier. Fry you some hot water cornbread and I will show you that later. If you need another quick tutorial on how to make hot water cornbread. It's just something about hot water cornbread and turnip greens or collard greens. I'll tell you, it actually just makes that taste so much better. So, a lot of people don't like doing this. They want to buy the glory greens, but let me tell you, glory greens, what they do is they leave a lot of these in there. So I find that I see a lot of people cooking these. You don't want to cook that. That is not what you want in your greens, okay? So take your leaf, fold it in half. Strip it. And I will come back and show you when it's time to wash these greens because you need to wash your greens at least four times until your water comes back clear. So, this is Miss Betty, and I'm on Farm Ridge, and I am prepping turnip and mustard greens. I'll be back. All right, it's Miss Betty, and I'm back. And as you can see, I have all my greens stripped. And now what I'm going to do is you want to wash your greens in cold water. I'm finishing up. I got just a few pieces left. But always make sure that you only use cold water when you're washing your greens because hot water will make your greens tough is what they taught us. So, I'm at the end of my batch and this is what um, five bunches and one bunch of um, mustard look like. So, I'm just going to show you a couple times how I wash them. And you can see that they're all stripped. There's no stems on them, there's no strings on them, and this is my box that I use to put my, you know, my garbage in, so this is really not a hard job, it is a tedious job that most people do not like to do, but it is so rewarding because I can remember when I was a young girl and my mom used to make me do greens, I actually cried because I didn't want to do it, but I am so glad that I learned it's such a blessing now to be able to, like, if I want some greens, I can just go to the store and get me some. I don't have to ask anybody to cook them. 
and most of all, I don't have to buy them from anybody. But if you want me to do you some greens, you can buy them from me. Okay, so we fill them up. This thing with water because I'm gonna wash these greens. And in this thing, making sure that I got all the grit out from when my other greens sat there. So, so you take your greens, you wash them just like you wash them clothes. Up and down, and I kind of scrub them a little bit. Now, if these greens would have come out of the garden, they would have been a lot more greenier than when you buy them in the grocery store because at the grocery store, they run water through their vegetables two or three times. Um, well, not more than two or three times, but all day long. So, you wash these greens, and you transfer them to the other sink. If you see anything in here that you don't like, I thought I saw extra string. If I do, I'll find it. And you just wash them, just like you're washing clothes in a sink. Okay. Remember, only use cold water. Now, you can see, and when I get them all out, you can see that this water is, that I'm taking my first wash out of is very, very cloudy. As you can see. And that's why we transfer them to another thing. Okay, can you see how murky that water is? You don't want to still, you don't want to cook your greens while your water is still looking like this. So, we're going to let this water out. And we're going to continue to wash our greens in our second sink. This is the way we wash our greens. Wash our greens, wash our greens. This is the way we wash our greens, even when we don't want to. <laughs> now, this water over here is still murky, but it's not as murky because, now see, I'm finding a couple of strings. You see that? Got a couple of strings on there. I don't want that. I want those off. Okay. There's grit at the bottom of this sink. You can see it. I'm going to rinse it out. I'm going to stop it up using cold water only. And I'm going to begin to do my third wash. This is number two. Number two. So just basically just go up and down, up and down, just like you're washing out some clothes in your hand sink. Okay, you can see the water is getting clear. Also, as you wash your greens, they don't look as fluffy as they used to be, so it looks like you don't have as many. But you really do. But as you cook them, they're also going to go down. But look, check out that water. And I'll show you in a minute. This is number three that I'm starting in this sink. This is number two. The water is still green. I want that water to be clear before I say I am ready to cook these drinks. So, if you go, I remember when my sister first got married and my mom, we went to her house for dinner. And she had cooked greens. And my mom said, how many times did you wash those greens? They're still a little um, gritty. She said, none. <laughs> and I still remember that to this day that she didn't wash the greens. She said she just picked them and put them in the pot. Well, that is not how we do it. So we're gonna clean off this sink again. And this is going to be wash number four. And you'll be able to see, well, you can already see if you look. Look at that water. See how much clearer it is? Getting clear. 
Meanwhile, while you're washing your greens, you should have your meat that you're going to put in your greens. It should be cooking. So that way, your meat and your greens can cook together because greens don't really take an awful long time, especially if the meat is already done. Okay. Because my mom cooked greens every Saturday, or uh, once a week, this has become a passion of mine that I like to do because I find that it's the time that I spend with the memories of my mom. And that's why they say, um, your loved ones never die. They stay in your memory. Okay. That looks pretty good. There's no grit in the sink. The water is clear. So, I'm getting ready to, my, to do my fourth wash. And this time, when I wash, I'll put my strainer in. Always make sure your strainers or whatever you're going to use are extremely clean because you got to put food in there that you're going to eat. So, make sure that your kitchen is always sanitized. I keep me a bottle of Lysol all-purpose cleaner, and so I always clean my sink around with this. Okay. Look at this nice, clear water. This time, when I transfer my greens, I'm not going to put them in a full tub of water. I'm just going to let the water just drain off my greens. Okay. This is what my mom would call a good mess of greens. Yes, indeed. Look how pretty they are. And if you find any strings, pull them off. See that? All right. Now, when I get through with this thing, you're going to see how clear my water is. And you'll see why it makes sense to wash your greens four times. Four times is my maximum, unless they're really dirty. Again, I prefer to buy them from the store than from the garden. But if somebody gives me greens from the garden, I just know that they need more washing. They need more leaf by leaf care because there's bugs there or whatever. All right, so we have just done. See that water? It's all nice and clear this time. We have just done five bunches of turnips and one bunch of mustard greens. And, hold on. This is optional. Everybody don't like turnips in their greens. But I'm gonna put one turnip in my green. You take this turnip, you peel it, and you slice it and you put it in your greens like 30 minutes after uh, they have, they're almost finished cooking. So I try not to overpower my greens with turnips because everybody do not like the turnip bottom. I do. Okay, everybody. These greens are clean. I just looked at them and if I see anything I don't like, there's, a, there's another string. They're ready to go. So, in a little bit, we are going to be eating turnip and mustard greens. This is Miss Betty, and I have been showing you on Fawn Ridge how to prep turnip and mustard greens, and then we'll show you how to add the turnip bottom. I've washed my turnip. I've peeled it. And now I'm going to slice it and I'm just going to leave it in some cold water until I put them in the last few minutes of my, um, when my greens are cooking. You don't want them too thick. So some nice thin slices. So one turnip is basically enough for as many greens as I've cooked today. I would not want to use more than one turnip. Now, some people like turnips separate, so if you really like turnips, then go ahead and cook you some separately. But these are 
ready to go. And I like to get everything prepped up. So when I'm cooking and I'm ready for the next step, I don't have to worry about, oh, now I got to peel my turnips and get them ready. No, just go ahead and get them ready early. And then they're ready when you need them. Okay? I'll be back to show you when I'm ready to put my greens in the pot. Okay, so I am ready to add my greens to the pot and we're gonna season them. So we're gonna put a few in at a time because we'll have to take this spoon and press them down each time because they will start and look like it's too many, but trust me, this pot will not be full when I'm done. So these are my nice, fresh, clean greens. Nice and crispy, fresh from the store today. I'm having a bad hair today, but you know what? It's okay. I'm Miss Betty, and I am cooking on Farm Ridge. Okay. Let's get these in. While I was waiting for my meat to cook, I seasoned my pot roast with potatoes and carrots and onion. And I'm gonna cook that really slow. It's a warm day, but I just felt like cooking today. And when I get hot, I'll turn the air off after my husband leaves, cause he don't like air. Okay. So let's get these greens in. And what we wanna do is we wanna get them all the way down, bring them to a boil, and then we wanna flip them over. My aunt said you season them and then you flip them over. I am going to season them with some salt, some black pepper, and I'm going to put a little Crisco oil in here. Actually, I use canola, but you want to hear something funny? I don't have any canola, so I'm going to have to put mine in after I run back to the store. So we'll just go ahead and get them seasoned. And they'll be fine without the oil until I can go and get it. There we go. That's five bunches of greens, you guys. And it don't look like very much once you um, get your finished product all done. But that is what it is. Now, I can't tell you whether or not, well, I probably could. If you want to put a teaspoon or a tablespoon of salt and pepper, but what I'm going to do is because I like to call myself an eye cook, so I'm just going to sprinkle. And when I say sprinkle, 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 that means one, two, three, four. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. If I say sprinkle, sprinkle, that means two. And that means you're not putting too much, okay? So that was my pepper. This is my salt. So we're just going to sprinkle, sprinkle. I think that was three. Gonna add a, add a little onion salt. That's it. And that's how you season your greens. Guys, that's how you season your greens. And we just let them come to a boil. I do have my meat down in here. I have a little diced onion. And remember, when they're down to their last 30 minutes, and then I'll add my turnips. I also like to always add, and I make this pepper sauce, so I go to the store and I buy peppers uh, in the produce section. I take this pepper, I take vinegar and water, and I make what you call a pepper sauce. So I put a little bit of the sauce, of the vinegar, in my greens, and then you just want to put a small piece of pepper. If you like your food hot, then you can use a large piece, but I would never use a piece this large because nobody won't be able to eat them but you. Okay, that's that. So now these greens are ready and I've just showed you how to do turnips and mustard greens. When they're all done, um, I'll come back and I'll show you um, how to do them and add your um, your turnips. Then we'll make some hot water cornbread and dinner will be served on Fine Ridge. Have a great day.